Hey, seventh graders. Um, I'm sorry that I'm not there today. I had to go to a meeting and take my daughter to the doctor. So I wanted to show you a foldable that we're going to make. You're going to start with this piece of paper um, and it's going to end up looking like that in your interactive notebook. So I'm going to show you how to do that. The paper is on the tall desk that I usually um, have my laptop on when I'm taking attendance. So it's already cut for you. So you start with this piece of paper, okay? And you're just going to fold it down and make like, looks kind of like a greeting card, okay? So, so it looks like this. So, like I said, you start with the paper like this, tall, and you fold it, I guess you guys call it hamburger, right? So then now it looks like a card, like you're opening it up, all right? So now you hold it like this, and you fold it down again. Still, you haven't changed the direction. You just fold it down, fold it down one more time. You haven't moved the piece of paper. You haven't changed the direction you're holding it. And then fold it down one more time, all right? So I'll show you that again. So you have a big piece of paper. Now you notice it has all these fold marks on it. So you have a big piece of paper. I'll hold it this way. And you fold it down so it's like a card. Okay, so you, now you're holding it like it's a card. Okay, I've turned it. And then I fold it. I'm going to turn it this way. Fold it in half. And so I folded it down. Then I fold it down. Then I fold it down again. Okay, so it looks like this. And the whole idea is that you will have fold lines, eight of them, that you can cut on so that it gives you a guide of where to make the flaps for your foldable. So what you'll do is, um, on these folds, which I'll darken a little bit so it's easier to see on the video. Mm -hmm. Kind of hard for me to see. Um, okay, so those are the fold lines, okay? And what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to cut the top. I'm just going to cut along here, along here, okay? So that you have a foldable that looks like this. Because what you're going to do is you're going to glue it down in your interactive notebook. You're going to glue down this piece here down on your paper. I mean, excuse me, on the paper in your interactive notebook. But you're going to have this cut so you have a flap, okay? And... Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to copy these words down, okay, and I'll take a picture of it and put it uh, so it's not backwards. Um, and then you're going to write down from the scientific method what is, when we say problem, what do we mean by that? And you're going to put some um, hints underneath here like always has to be stated in the form of a question or whatever. And that's directly from the notes that you just took yesterday and finished today, okay? so. There's the foldable. That's the end product. It's going to go on the left side, first available left page in your interactive notebook. Okay, so notice it's on the left. Um, and so one more time, start with your paper like this. Okay, fold it in half and then hold it up like it's a greeting card. Okay. So you're opening it up like, you're my favorite teacher, Mrs. Walsh. Love, Billy. <laughs> no. Okay, then you fold it down, down, down. Okay, so it looks, I don't know what that looks like. I don't know. All right, and then when you open it up, it looks like this. Doesn't matter, the folds are on both sides. But I just, I darkened these so you could see them easier. And then you just cut on the fold lines just on the top. Don't cut all the way through because you're going to glue this part down, okay? Then use your notes to answer what, for the problem, what is the problem in the scientific method, hypothesis, procedure, materials, all these things, okay? Make sure you use pencil because we will go over this in case there's any, you know, mistakes or um, you weren't sure of some of them. You can use marker to make the, the titles of the flaps, but don't use marker on the inside. All right? So that's what you're working on after you're done with the notes. Um, and I will see you all tomorrow.